friends, before I begin, I wanna give a shout out to my teacher friend named Caitlin Eddington. Um, she gave some really awesome instructions on how to do some CD printing. And while I had seen it done before, her directions were just really helpful for me. So I wanted to say thank you to her. It's always important to thank teachers and friends who inspire you. So the way CD printing works is you need a blank piece of paper, you need a CD or DVD. I used um, my old Batman Begins. This is actually in French, but je ne parle pas français. <laughs> I don't speak French. So but that's the one line I do know. So what you need to do is you need a brush, paint, tempera. Um, this is the kind I used. Whatever kind you have is probably fine. It should be a thicker paint though, not a watercolor. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna paint directly on to your CD. Now you can do this by choosing a color and just literally painting around the CD like this. You could add little designs around to give your CD printed flower some texture. You can go up and over like this. It is totally your call how you design your CDs, okay? Because this is gonna be your eventual flower. I think I need some contrasting white here though. Even though I'm using a white background, the white kind of turned pinkish because I had pink on my brush to begin with. And if you don't like a certain spot, paint right over it or just wipe it clean and you can start again. I kind of like the way that's forming. So I think I'm gonna be ready to print. I'm gonna use a little brown for the inside right here. And let's see what this looks like. We grab it and flip it right over. Press, press, press. And very gently, I actually like to hold my paper from the bottom and peel away. Ooh, I got some pretty cool texture there. Now, because my CD is all like mushed and gushed, what you can do is either take a paper towel and wipe the whole thing clean, like this, just smooge, smooge, smooge away. Or you can wipe parts of it away, and I'll show you that in a moment. I think I might want my next flower to be, hmm, what do we think? I'm thinking like blues and purples. Also, do you see how my brown didn't really show up there? You can totally just take your brush and add more. Who's to say you can't, you know what I mean? Fill those spots in. It's your flower after all. I'm gonna wipe my brush clean, clean, clean on my paper towel. The reason I don't like using water here is because I don't wanna get my paper too, too wet or my paint too runny. I want it thick. So, here I go. I'm gonna choose some blue. And this time, how do I wanna do this? What do you think? I wanna go around like this and make little designs. How's that? Not bad, not bad. You don't want it too, too thick or it will smudge. That's why some of mine smudge, but I don't mind because I think it gave, gave a nice texture. Now I'm gonna wipe that. I'm gonna add a little purple to the inside. What do we think? We liking that? I think I do. Very good. And I wanna add something to the inside. I think I want some pink. You're gonna notice I didn't actually wash my brush there and that's okay as long as you're not sharing your paint with anybody. Right, what do we think of that? We like it? I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna add one more little flourish. I like adding little flourishes. Whoosh, how's that? Good, good. Let's wipe that brush clean, clean, clean. And if your paper towel is all yucky, fold it in half. Get it ready, we'll grab that. CD now and grab paper. Now let's see if we just press. I'm gonna put it up here or down here. What do we think? Up here? Okay. Press gently and then hold underneath and peel away. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Now, what I'm gonna do for this is take a Q tip or cotton swab and you can make more designs by taking away 
the paint. Pretty cool, huh? What if I made little circles there? Now, I don't have very much paint left on here. So let's see what it looks like if I just use this print that I have with what's left on my CD. It'll be very light, so I'll have to press super duper hard. Place it. Really press. Use your Hulk strength. Use those big art muscles. Great. And... Whoa, pretty snazzy. I dig it. I'm gonna wipe this one clean and try that again. Now I'm all done with my CD because I don't really have much more room. So I'm just going to wipe it clean. And that way I'm ready for the next time I want to use it. Now this Q-tip can go into the trash as well. I'm gonna clean my CD a little later too with maybe some water just in case I don't want to get anything on it. But that's that, that is CD flower printing my friends now the last thing I want to show you is why not add just a little bit more to our flowers with our brush are we allowed to do that of course we are it's our flower just a bit around here okay. yeah not that that really stands out now it's a little weird but that's okay maybe I should add a little bit more red or something yellow kind of mixing over here on my paper towel let's add just little lines like that just to make it pop all right I'm pretty well, I, don't know. I kind of like the way it looks when I color those empty spots in with leftover paint and it's not too 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 much paint just subtle just subtle enough. Now, it would be a good time to probably clean your brush totally, but I'm just gonna wipe it as clean as I can. And I'm gonna add some stems. A little leaf here and there. A little bigger leaf over here. over my flower and this one here will maybe this one will go off to the side like that that one could go off to the side yeah that's fine with me and then I'll have another one another one here because why not they're my flowers and I think I'm good to go now the only thing that I mean this spot's looking a little empty to me I don't know if it's looking empty to you but it is to me so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little sunshine usually you have the Sun in the corner but I'm the artist I can put the Sun where I want we'll have some nice rays how's that not terrible pretty good Hope you had fun and I can't wait to see your creations.